far out ideas are now coming to reality. There are commercial opportunities everywhere. There are commercial connections that have already been made, which are also adding academic value. So the concept is succeeding. I agree with uh, uh, many of you who have said the best is yet to come. And I think we owe an enormous debt of gratitude to the people who've been mentioned here today. Richard Lerner, Dick Atkinson, Lynn Shank. Our one director, Larry Smarr of this institute, has been fantastic for 10 years. He's listened to everybody. He's uh, creating teams that can do things that individuals can't. Ramesh Rao, who's been in place the whole time. And here now, G.P. Lee and our former directors of this campus branch, Nick Alexopoulos and Peter Renzepas and Bill Parker. They've all had a hand in this. And it's turning out to be fun. So I, I'm just thrilled that I could be here today. And I must thank G.P. Lee for arranging the most important thing of all. He actually had a parking space for me. Thank you, G.P. <laughs> thank you very much. As always, Ralph has his eyes squarely on the ball. Uh, parking is still the final frontier in the University of California. Um, and, and of course, the mentorship of working, of my reporting to the chancellors uh, has carried on with Marianne Fox and, and with Michael Drake. And, you know, it's always important that you work with people that you really um, respect and are fun to work with or intellectually stimulating. And these four chancellors have just been a dream for me. And if there's one reason that I've stuck it out longer than I probably should have for 10 years, it's, I think, being able to work directly with, with those four. So I really appreciate very much that opportunity. Going back to the hiring, um, Bob Kahn uh, was the dean of engineering at UC San Diego, Gene Ferrante was the chair of computer science, was hiring me as a faculty. And um, uh, Bob was uh, just incredibly critical to working with me personally uh, uh, here at San Diego in uh, getting the School of Engineering and all of its industrial partners involved. Um, at Irvine, Nick Alexopoulos, uh, who's going to speak in just a minute, uh, was similarly uh, very generous beyond what you would have thought. You know, most of the time you think of deans as, as holding the resources pretty close to the chest. But in this case, uh, it was just the opposite. And, and Bob Kahn uh, couldn't be with us in, in person, although I believe he may be actually uh, listening to this live on the webcast. If so, hi, Bob. Uh, and thanks so much for all your help. We have a video, brief video from Bob, and then I'm going to ask uh, Nick if he would uh, say a few words about the early days at Irvine. I think one way to think about Governor Davis's initiative at the time was I, I actually thought and think to this day. It was a gift to us at UC San Diego. We had spent the better part of the last seven years prior to this initiative being announced taking the school towards the top ten. And in fact, it's there. And it was there right around the time that this initiative was announced. Now to do that, you had to do a whole slew of things. One was you had to build the faculty larger, and you had to build a great faculty. And we did that. Secondly, you had to build the relationships not only on the campus with the other groups who you would collaborate with, but particularly for engineering, it was critically, critically important that we build the relationships with industry. So over a period of seven years, the school worked extraordinarily hard at building powerful relationships. When we first thought about it as a campus as a whole, it wasn't obvious what the choice of topics should be. We have great biological sciences. We could have done something in the biological area. I think choosing telecommunications and information technology, in the end, everyone agreed, was the most natural thing to do. We had two revolutions that took place in the 90s, not one. The first revolution was the, the birth of the World Wide Web and the Internet and the explosion of the Internet. And independently, independently, was the wireless and mobility revolution. 
Now, there's a lot of other revolutions that could be taking place in the biological sciences and other areas, but there was nothing, nothing comparable to those two revolutions of the 1990s. So picking telecom and IT was picking the two revolutions. The former governor, Governor Davis, should feel really proud. It has worked. It has produced innovation. It has drawn resources to California that would not have come. And I think it's been just a remarkable thing for this whole region. But the people you have to thank for that are the faculty who, you know, put their shoulder to the grindstone and really have utilized these new facilities in ways that are just extraordinary. The students and the staff that make up the place and the leadership. I mean, without strong visionary leadership, you falter. And I think to the credit of Larry Smarr, Ramesh Rao, G.P. Lee and the others, they have had visionary leadership for a decade. Easy to have visionary leadership for a year or two. <laughs> but sustaining it for a decade, just amazing. So my congratulations to all of the people in the California Institute for Telecom and IT, the leadership, the campuses. They have made something that just is extraordinary and I think unique in the United States.